Gentlemen, get on your feet and let's wave these drivers on. The first leg of the Triple Crown Showdown. Four wide and fancy off of corner four. This is the Corpac Merchandising Sprint Cars. Stretch, wave these drivers on. They're coming your way down the back stretch. The Core Pack merchandising sprint cars were ready to come to life. Ready to go racing, Mitch Brown and Dylan Westbrook on the front row. Ladies and gentlemen, you came looking for a show. Well, here you go. Let's end all the anticipation as we bring to you the first of three feature presentations. Here we go. timing for Dylan Westbrook there as he was just entering the slower traffic as Westbrook making his very first 360 sprint car start here tonight. We have seen that happen in fact for most of a race there was one attached to Haver Daniels car a couple years ago. Here we go again Westbrook has the lead. Stiers and Hyde. to the inside and now Zucky almost upside down in third two. He keeps the other way. Westbrook keeps the lead here as he's going to win number six. Westbrook in leader. Stires in second. Hottick in third. Gets the fourth and Mitch Brown now finds his way back into the top five. Bit of a bump in the right corner. He's down the road to the bottom. He's going to the top that last time through. As he's the only car in the top four running that line. Westbrook up to the third. Catch the slower top of the line. Westbrook, as you mentioned, not used to lap traffic. He runs in the big split car division each and every Friday night. And so far, we've had anywhere from 12 to 15 cars, so it's a long time before he sees any lap cars. He's about to get right into the thick of it. He worked on this last time before the car came out. back to 
the great sprint car on Friday night. The way he is running, leading the way. 12 laps into it, eight to go for the youngster. Westbrook continuing to lead here as Styers gets bottled up behind the two of the winger. And Westbrook has a very good lead now, coming up on seven laps to go. Yep, so more trips around for Dylan Westbrook. Glenn Styers staying about 10 car lengths behind him in that second position. Todd Hoddick, meanwhile, closing the gap on the second spot. Double on the 11 Z of Zach Zumpy. He comes slowly out of corner four with something not right on that car. It looks like maybe broken suspension in the front Westbrook. end. Westbrook leading the way. The boss, Glenn Styers, right behind him. Todd Hoddick in the third spot. They'll crank it off a of corner four and bring them back to life. Dale Shuneman throws the green flag. Back underway here with Styers getting a very good start. Throws the dive bomb on Westbrook in turn. One and two, Westbrook has to get on the binders and Styers has the lead momentarily, but Westbrook fighting back on the bottom in turn three. Styers tried that on the last restart, it didn't work. Oh, that time Dylan Westbrook got close to Styers, coming off of corner four. He'll throw it down into corner number one and a little bit of a bump slows him up. Wow, no fear for Westbrook there as he threw it down in there, couldn't get it done, and now Hoddick is starting to make up some ground on both of them. Dyer's your leader, Westbrook back to second now. We'll see if that pass and excursion has shaken it for the youngster. Doesn't look like it's sitting in that second spot. No, he's following Styers, and now it gets out over the cushion in turn four. Hoddick is right on the tail end of Westbrook now as Styers pulls away slightly. Westbrook now trying to keep it inside the berm racing surface as you've got the 49 of Todd Hoddick now hooked up on the bottom side. Now Westbrook over the cushion again in turn four, doing everything he can to catch Styers, but he's got to keep it a little smoother here. Styers going to be in slow traffic in a moment. Time by, it'll be two to go for the Oshwikin Flyer. Glenn Styers, it's far from over though. Here comes Westbrook in a lap car in front. And Hoddick is there as well. Styers bobbled on the cushion, and now Westbrook is there, gets around the, narrowly around Root and puts a lap on him. Coming down to the white flag. The Oshwikin Speedway team car is going at it. Westbrook all over the back end of Styers. And Hardick is still there if there's any mistakes from either of them. And now Westbrook up over the cushion in turn two, spins it out, and looks like a broken axle for Westbrook. And now trouble for the point leader. Mitch Brown spins it, and he will have to start at the back of this pack. So it all goes for naught for Westbrook. As he gets two a sprint car feature wins in a row. So Styers has got to hold off Hoddick for one more lap here. Single foul past the corner. Styers gets a good restart. Styers leads him in the corner. One Todd Hoddick in the second spot. Now the flying physician into the top three, Steve Collins. Collins with a good recovery here. Styers is going to come out of corner four and get the feature win. Second at the line will be Hoddick. Then it is Collins. Dempster looping it up into the top five. Dean Nida, sixth, Chris Steele, seventh, Corey Turner, eighth, Charlie Sandercock, ninth, and Connor Mahoney rounds out the top ten. Well, the last time there was a sprint car race in Ontario was a Brighton Speedway, and the winner was Glenn Styers. He's climbing out of the car. He's grabbing the World War One checkered flag. Let's hear it for the Oshwikin Flyer, Glenn Styers. Well, Glenn, you had a rocky start to 2015, and now you're two in a row aboard the sprint car. Forget about me. What about that kid, Dylan? Oh, my God. It took me everything to get around him. He's amazing. I can't wait to see what his future's like, man. Right from where I'm sitting, he looks so bright. 
You had two tries at Dylan Westbrook. The first time you tried to make that dive bomb, it didn't quite work. Did you learn something to make it work the second time? I knew I was close. I just had to just like, you know, just go for it. I, he's not used to getting slide jobs like that, so I knew he'd be a little spooked, and uh, yeah, I schooled him. What do you think of tonight so far? Three divisions you've competed in. This is an awesome crowd. What do you think about the Triple Crown? Well, I'm gonna tell you, this track is amazing. Um, the rain that we had has give you guys a treat. We can't do this on our own. Mother Nature did this for us, man. This is amazing. And I got to thank my Schwiga Speedway staff. They put this deal together, okayed it with me. I didn't want to do it. And then I said, all right, let's try it. And here we are. And I want to thank all you fans for being a part of it. We couldn't do it without you guys up there in the grandstands. Thank you so a bunch. Let's hear for the Oshwegan Flyer, Glenn Styers, tonight's winner for the Corpac Merchandising Sprint Cars. We'll move in here with Todd Hoddick. Well, Todd, last time we were here in a points race, you were the winner, second place tonight. A good points night overall for you. Yeah, it was a good night. Uh, you know, just Dylan and Glenn were up there on the top, and that's my lane, so we were uh, struggling on the bottom there, and then when Dylan got turned around there, he ripped the right rear shock off at the last restart, so we're just hanging on for dear life and just happy to finish. Having a great season so far, who would you like to thank? Uh, I got to thank Merzak Enterprises, uh, Casey's Truck Salvage, uh, Fiberworks Composites, the crew, my fiance, everybody here. We've had a, a lot of support here these couple years. It's nice to see us run a little bit better. All right, let's hear for Todd Hoddick. He'll come home second place tonight. We'll move over here with the Flying Physician. We got two doctors in the house here tonight. Steve Collins, a third place. Man, you run so good here at this weekend. Yeah, that was a lot of fun coming up through, making some passes there, you know, here to put a show on for this crowd, you know, they deserve it. Talk about the racetrack tonight, man, it looked fun to race on. It was, there was a couple grooves, you could go high and low down in, in both corners, actually, the, the middle up here was a little bit treacherous, there's big rut in there, but that kind of separates the men from the boys, I think. <laughs> One of our New York State drivers, it takes a lot to get you here every week, who would you like to thank? Well, as usual, my crew, you know, and everything. Uh, I don't have a lot of sponsors to thank because I don't have any. It's just me, you know. So, uh, but I appreciate everybody that comes and helps me out, my crew and everything, you know. And I thank all the fans for coming out and making this a great show. And uh, thank Glenn for having such a great facility here. There you have it. The Flying Physician, Steve Collins, comes home in the third spot. So Glenn Styers wins the first leg of the Triple Crown. Well, Clinton Jeffrey, I'll tell you what. But y you and I and Doug Leonard were kind of the ones that talked Glenn into this, and we've been on pins and needles on whether or not this was going to work. We're one race in. What do you think so far? Man, it's awesome. The crowd came out, but you and I were in knots all day with the weather, <laughs> thinking, oh, man, is we going to cost the boss a fortune tonight? Thanks all the fans for coming out. I mean, as I said earlier, you, Doug, myself, we're all modified fans. So to bring the Super Dirt Car Series here, kind of like it's the old Field of Dreams, build it and they will come, and we're experiencing that tonight. So I'm super excited to be here. Great to see you. I mean, we've seen amazing racing already, and we can't wait to see what the Go Nuclear Late Models and the Super Dirt Car Series big blocks are going to bring for us next year. That's just it. We'll send it back up top to Adam Buchanan, who will bring us the next leg of the Triple Crown. It's the Go Nuclear Late Model Series. Well, ladies.